That's really weird that Shosei would stop at 705 because they've been doing 100 exactly every stream. But I hope his run didn't die. But yeah, look, Hoop is number one. We're going to play some Super Expert and then swap over to Luigi's Mansion, I think is the plan. Oh, before we do that, though. Oh, God, my lives are low. Let's make a prediction. The same one as the other day, basically. Let's see. Odd or even skips at 22,275 clears. Or triple stack Bowser, those are your options. I'm gonna make it for like eh, 10 minutes for people to get in here, you know? That's pretty much it. I think that's the Burger King me. Can't leave the ground. Gotta go through a pipe, so I'm pretty much destined to die here, probably. We'll see. Three minutes of this, by the way. I don't think so. I'm moving on. Pick your starter Pokemon. You know what? Let's make a poll with chat. And see which one is actually the most deadly room. Poll. Which Pokemon do I choose? I assume green is Bulbasaur. And I assume that red is Charmander. And I assume Squirtle is the last one. Oh, I guess I didn't capitalize Charmander. That's fine. Let me just capitalize it so it looks nice and neat. I'll give you guys one minute to fight over it. Good luck. I think there's a little thing I could put on screen, but... No, I don't have it anymore. That sucks. You need a Squirtle to win? At the beginning, I mean, if I pick Squirtle, it's gonna pick Bulbasaur, so that's just how I see it. But you guys can fight over it. By the way, there are extra votes. I put 100 channel points for extra votes. You want to fight over it? Feel free to do so. This is like one of your few chances you guys can fight over things with your channel points. 30 seconds left. Actually, more like 20. So far, Trimander and Squirtle are tied. Oh, hold on. Squirtle's winning by one point. If you can't see the poll, refresh your browser or something, because it might not show up for you. Oh, Bulbasaur is just going straight into the lead. It had one point, now it's at six. Currently winning with a single point over Squirtle. Two points over Squirtle, and... Ooh, someone tried to snipe him with Squirtle last second. I guess we're going to Bulbasaur. All right. Bulbasaur it is. This might be the easy route. Hold up. Is that like a star maze? What is going on here? Oh, I see. Got more vines. Oh, wait. Honestly, I kind of like this level, but I have to see the other pass first before I like it. And now this is like, what, a gym leader? Probably? I, oh, this is when the level becomes... Yeah. Hmm. I gotta be careful with this fireball stuff. Now we just gotta get the fire flower. I'm not sure if I like this boss fight, by the way. Because look where the piranha plant landed up. That doesn't seem very fair with the twister. I think the fireballs need to be more like one here and probably like one over here somewhere. Like just make it more symmetrical and more fair, you know? 
Because before the checkpoint, the level was like really good. I'm gonna assume they incorporated everything. I think probably Charmander Room probably had a Wiggler. I'm gonna assume the Squirtle Room had Whisters, just a hunch. Because we saw the Piranha in there, so it's probably all three of them. This is like fun, but I know it's not worth it. If that boss fight was actually good, it would have gone back in the level I actually tested the other areas. What? Does this level even know what they're doing? Pretty sure that was a mushroom that landed into the lava there. Persona! Fuck and Thiskel cheered with 1,000 bits. Roy, I gifted you the game, by the way, and spins fucking Oh, you did? I... Hype Roy, on, are you on, uh, on Steam? Also, thanks for the 1,000 bits. Jesus Christ, dude. Is it because I Z-jumped, I went right through the cloud without touching it? That is just crazy mechanics in this game, man. On Steam? Alright. I don't see anything on Steam, but I'll have to click on it and find out. Once Luigi's Mansion and Super Mario World Randomizer, I don't think I want to play vanilla. Sorry, guys. I just, I can't stand playing vanilla too many times in my life in that game. Once those two things are done, we can go from there. Am I supposed to go down? That was, like, some quick thinking right there. Okay, but, like, what about to the right? I don't see anything, so I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, shoot. Oh. Am I supposed to have that in my head? I don't know what you want from me there, but I assume you need it on your head. The future is changing. Change your character into two death. Is this a death door? I see spikes. Oh. Uh. Where am I going? Help. Sure, I'll just die to a fire bar. That's fine. I don't know where to go. You're not giving me any, like, push. A small push would be nice. Now I get no power up and I have to actually deal with this. Oh, wait, no, I do get a power up. Hmm. So weird. Whatever. It's not like I need that power up anyways. Yeah, I see why this is super expert. Didn't expect the Bowser fight at the end though. But I did expect no one up, sadly. Also, nice soft lock down there. Assuming you kill Bowser and drop down there. Well, it didn't troll. It didn't seem like it killed instantly, so I'll leave it as a neutral. Everyone gets 7,500 rupees. Nice. Good job, Fox, contributing to the community. I'll play Toad out here in just a moment. I did hear it, by the way, but focusing on content first and foremost.
It's really sad that even though I really like Luigi, I don't have very avid Luigi lovers that want to like reverse those cards and keep me as Luigi. That's the one thing I find odd. Like, I, like literally been playing Luigi for like four years. You'd think I'd at least attract other Luigi lovers that want to do that, so. Not that I'm like complaining or anything, I'll play Toadette, but I am at a low life, so. What's that question mark in the middle of the title? Not sure how this makes me a precision guy, but sure. Hmm. Curious. How close do I need to be for this to work? I actually don't know the hitbox between all that. So if I had to guess... I'm gonna assume... This is actually gonna be very difficult to figure out because I've never done this before with a pipe. I'm gonna assume that if I were to go to the next area over here, it would be skipping... You'd be in between two pixels, so if that's the case... Please don't go in the pipe. I assume if I line up to this right here at the edge, that's the good spot. Based on the fact that the ground would line up... Wait. Would it line up? No, it wouldn't be one pixel to the right, wouldn't it? It'd be one pixel to the right. So it'd be like right here-ish. This should be it. This should be the hitbox. It's not. Um, that's weird because I was lined up. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe I need to look at it better. But you, wait, why do I even want the mushroom? I can't even bring it with me. I guess I could damage boost through that section. That's probably what they did. Well, if that's off by one, I assume the answer is this then. Unless I missed it by half a pixel. Wait, did I miss it by half a pixel? I don't even know. It looks like I'm off by half a pixel again. There. Based on this... Oh, it's, I get it. It's because the pipe, the top edge of the pipe is one block. Oh, all right. I get it. I misunderstood the position because of the plus one to the left full pixel. It's hard to explain it if you know what I mean. Do you think this is enterable? Oh, they just removed the other pipe? Oh, this is the pipe to go into. Never mind. Can't even run fast enough to get past that. Wow! <laughs> that is so rude. You can't even see that spike. Hey, Cory. You think this is a muncher? Wow. I'm a little surprised it wasn't a muncher. I think I just do a full jump, it's fine, yeah. I thought this was 1-1, one dash one. what happened? Also, do I even need it now? Not really, but it would help. And the question is, where is the spike hitbox for this one? We're learning new hitboxes today, apparently. I think all I had to do was line up my shadow. Yeah, too late now. I think I'm off by one pixel, but I can't tell. You know, let's just go to the edge of this. And use that as a reference point. So I think one more to the right would have been... Right here-ish? Maybe? Because when you duck, it's in between one pixel on each side, one full square pixel. So if that's the case, and I already messed up what I needed... So my foot needs to, my right foot needs to hit one of the edges of the, of the black. So in theory, this should be the jump, and it's not. I'm dying for no reason. Why, dude? Why are we giving me these things? I don't even need the mushroom, I don't think. Oh god, I forgot that this was a thing. But I died there for a second. 
I guess we can find out here. Oh, wrong button. I don't know if that's gonna help. But we can take a look. Ugh, that doesn't help at all. I didn't take the picture at the right time. Whatever. Now it's all blurry. And Toadette does not help here at all. Thanks, Corbin. <laughs> if I had Luigi, it'd be so much easier. Ugh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't even care anymore. I don't need no mushroom. I ain't no bitch. If it was a green mushroom, it'd be different. The first mushroom is kind of required, though, sadly. It was really clear that they used it. Just one. That's all you get. Plus the coins that you get, so you know. No, I not I'm not used to Toadette's shadow. I can't. I can't utilize that properly. I am only used to Luigi's shadow, and it's just gonna throw me off. It's an okay level. The first mushroom seems mandatory if you want to like make it safe in there. The second mushroom's not even required. Although maybe you could do a standing jump on the first mushroom location. It looked like a running jump though. Why is there a single block in the middle of nowhere? That's yeah, a death door. Unclear though, by the way. I guess the block doesn't matter. There's nothing to it. It's uncleared. The 500 seconds, yes. Does it make it a bad level? No. So running to the left and holding jump didn't do anything. Cool. What a great level. Um, I see why it's it's uncleared now. No one wanted to deal with this hot garbage. That's fine though. I'll have to figure it out. I guess if I just jump. If I do a big jump. Or don't get a jump at all, mind you. It might just work. Mmm, yes. What a weird level this is. Double pipe? Definitely their first level, 100%, right? Oh, what is this? Why is this here? Wait, why would I want... In theory, you could take this spring. Let me mark it real quick. You could take the spring back to the other section and utilize it for something. I'm going to do that first and then come back through the bomb area. Because why else would you need it? I mean, for progression? Or go to the, to the right over here? Because in theory, they would just use it for going to the right and skipping a whole section to have a dev route. But if that's the case, then the bomb section probably is impossible to beat. So what else would you use this for? A, like something after the bomb section? I almost want to YOLO to the right, Grand Pound Spring, and go to the right, but... Just to give this the benefit of the doubt, I don't know why this is here, but... Yeah, I'm starting to think it was back in the other pipe, because I don't know why you'd need this spring. I don't know why it's here. Oh, maybe they couldn't do the bomb section right? So if they wanted to reset it, they just use the spring to get back? I, I don't know. I think this is... Wait. 
Is this why they had the spring? Is this seriously why they had the spring? Because they couldn't spin jump off of a bomb? No way, right? Also, you can just do that. No way they're gonna force me to do the spring thing. Would be, would be just a crazy level if you need a spring for something. But then the, we have this section coming up. It doesn't make any sense. Oops, well, do I even care about the spring at this point? I, there's no way they had a spring in their hand during the spike section, right? There's just no way. I don't believe it. But what if there is a ground pound spring jump? I mean, that's why it could be uncleared. They just hide a dev item such as that. I'm gonna just do my own thing. And I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I guess I'll just do a big jump. Well, they didn't do the Grand Pound Spring Jump, because the answer's right there. Also, now, it's just a blind note block jump to win, and there's no one-up at all. And there's also no checkpoint. Right. The ceiling got me. Uh, it's possible with the spring mice. I just don't believe that they actually did it with the spring. That's why I didn't want to bring it with me. Because if they did do it, this level would be insane. And that would be why it's uncleared. Is there no way to get one of on this level? There are powers here, but I can't bring them back with me. Which is sad, because I really wanted to. So, that begs the question. What did they use the spring for? Did they really just do a spring jump and there's a dev exit to the right of this pipe? The ending's not even that hard, it's just a blind note block jump. Alright, before I do anything else, let me count how many twirls I did. Round seven is when you stop. Right about here. Yeah, seven-ish. Let me just one more time. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven-ish, and then ground pound cancel. I This is so risky. I don't know why I'm playing this. Why is there a spring? I kind of want to check in viewer after this, because you don't need the spring at all whatsoever. It's like not even required. It could be another block. It could be like an acorn or, you know, propeller hat. Or it could literally just be for this, because they couldn't do the stupid spin jump. <laughs> you, the world may never know. There could be an item over here. Highly possible. Either way, don't matter. If there is a propeller hat, shame on you, because I bet you there is. But I don't know if I actually need it. I'll have to do another life test here. I'm wasting so many lives today just for content. And it's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but I should probably gain more. Okay, it really was seven. It instantly ground pound. <sighs> or six, I guess. No ground pound. I'm gonna do seven though again. God, why am I even playing this? I'm gonna bring the spring with me and check this left side, I think. That's the only thing I can think of with the spring. If it's not for the bomb. Also, you die if you ground pound that, so. They have it open over here, which is really suspicious behavior. You could bring the spring back over here and use this. No, 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 you can't. It's too tall by like one block. 
The only thing you can use the spring for is checking the exit area. But you would have to be smart enough to throw the spring up there instead. I think they just use it for the bomb. I think that's literally all they used it for. There's no other reason for it. You know? If it's not for the bomb, it has to be a hidden item. There's the only two options. I, that I can see, realistically speaking. I think I already checked the... More than likely. Alright, let's go look over here, I guess. I mean, we have options. DevRout? Mm, can't go back once I do that. I'm a little worried about going down there. I don't need the spring once I... Yeah, I don't really need the spring anymore at some, at some point. Back at the start, which is really weird. I don't see anything. I'm not going to go in that pit because God knows there's a soft lock down there for some reason if they actually put something hidden here. I'm just gonna do my seven twirls, ground pound cancel, and win level. I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. Yeah. That was so risky, but I did it anyways. Oh yeah, I guess I could have marked the note block. Oh shoot. I'll try. I'll comment where I need to. Should be here, in theory. I guess we're gonna find out the hard way and die for it. Okay, to the right, too. Do you see the issue with this level? <laughs> I mean, if the deaf door didn't get a boo, I mean, that would get a boo. Got it. All right. I think we're gonna go be uh, searching for lives after this because I'm tired of these levels today already. I wonder what the muscle memory for that section is. It's not hold right or hold jump. I've tried that. Maybe tap jump and hold right, or I guess left in that case. Let's get our comments on so we can see it. And have an idea where it's at. It's two, it's two to the right. If anyone's in VR right now for the level, tell me after I clear it. If there's anything suspicious or not. If it's just a spring, let me know after I clear it, or I leave. Those are the two only times you can tell me. Cause I'm super curious. Can you even bring a mushroom? No, you can't even bring a power up here. So maybe there is just nothing. Yeah. Oh my god, I was so off. Oh my god, I finally did it after like four lives. But there's still no guarantee. I might need full speed. Never mind. We still made it. Was there anything else in there? It has to be used for the bomb part. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Crazy. I mean, my comment's not in the right spot, but at least they'll have a reference point when they die. Did you actually make draw Lucky Draw for real? <laughs> you suck. <laughs> X. 
Especially in the top 100 hard levels. This no, there is no hardest level calculator reference clear point. No, that's not how that works. You're just full of yourself, man. Come on. Oh my lord. Maybe if you mean top 100 super expert, but that's crazy to believe that this level is even close to that kind of honor key. And there goes my pal. Rip me, I guess. So many pals. Did I just get lied to? I, I don't want to check it. Oh, they used POW to get out? Oh my god, they used the POW to get out of the level. Oh god. Oh, let me... It's, uh, it's fake! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it was fake! <laughs> Alright. Give it his cold heart boo and let's go find this dev route. Do we even need the key? Probably. We actually... Yeah, well, no, there's a key right there. It's probably going back. By the way, the goal comment means the creator put that there. That's why I call them full of themselves. Do I just need one pal? Maybe. Whoa. Uh, okay. That was weird. You need two pals to win. A possible bomb in the level somewhere. Oh, well, there you go. Wait, I don't even. I, I, you don't need. You don't even need the pal. You could just. Wow. I need a mushroom to find something in that saw blade. No one fix. Well, maybe someone to figure it out, to be fair. Dang it, dude. There's a mushroom somewhere. And I have no idea where that's at. Great. <sighs> Probably a bomb and a fire flower. Maybe the power's above that flame block. Well, I found the pal. How does the pal help me? Oh, maybe, oh, you can take a pal out with you. How would that help me still, though? Pal drop? Oh, to find, like, a hidden bomb. All right, we know this level is just going to be impossible without the viewer. So let's just use the viewer and beat the level. That sounds like good content, yeah. Basically, it's just a hidden block search and nobody wants to do it. Confusing puzzle with Kaizo blocks? Bruh. This is not a puzzle. This is just hot garbage. There is a difference. This is not a puzzle. Also, shame on Peanut for not putting at least... They liked it! I kind of want to get world record now. Just, just in spite of that. Did they put a single comment? No, all they used their comments for was telling the creator that they suck. Wow, very useful comments. All right, I'm looking through viewer on this one. I found the key and such. Okay, I already got enough information. I understand why the key is there and what, why it matters. Where's that pal? There it is. I don't think I need... Oh, I'm dead. I don't think I need that POW after I use it. Why is there two POWs, though? I don't even know why there's two POWs at all. Makes no sense. But you do need the key. That is confirmed. I guess the creator just sucked at the game. That's probably why.
There's your fire flower. Now, how do we utilize the fire flower, though? I guess we can go in the pipe, finally. There's nothing in the saw blades above me. That won't help. I need a bomb generator. I need the first bomb. So the first thing you want to do is... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless this doesn't work for some reason. So many hidden blocks, man. I think you go in here duck immediately. No, you can't. That sucks. So how do I get past this then? We have a pow. Hmm. Do we actually have to get lucky? I don't think so. You could do a pow drop from the spike area and get on the other side without doing anything. So the fire flower is for later then, and I guess you do want to do lucky draw? But... Oh, that's why there's two paths. Okay, I got it. I understand. Now I get why, well, we only need one still. But I know why they have two in the level. It's because they couldn't get their other pal back. Jesus Christ, dude. I don't know. Uh, let's get this ready first. We throw the pal instantly and should kill them all. Or at least most of them. Uh, I, ha I had I had it! So I need- wait, how, how do you get both of them? Oh, that's anti-cheese. Hmm. And you can't bring the firefly with you. And there's no hidden power up. Saw blades don't have anything, so a power drop is the only thing I can think of. Unless there's something I'm missing here. I see a hidden acorn in the level. Wait, how do I get the pipe C? But I need a bomb to get it. How do I get the pipe? Oh, you need the acorn to get to the pipe D. Jesus. That level's awful. But how do I get past... Is it, is it seriously just a power drop? Because I can do that. Wait. Wait a minute. I think there's actually a puzzle here. I think the spike tops matter. If you can get the spike top to go up there, you can spin jump up there. That's what it is. That's the answer. I need to bring a pow up there with me. I bring a pow up there with me. I bring a spike top up there with me. I spin jump on the spike top to get to the bomb. But how do I get the spike top to continue going? Hmm. That's where the puzzle comes into play. You gotta figure out how to get a spike top to go up there, where the saw blades are at. I can just make a spike top get on top of this ceiling by putting two- I'm gonna die, jeez. By putting two cows here to make it go up and around. That's all I need. The problem... To do that... I mean, it's highly doable. I can do it. Maybe this is cheese. Dead. I think I figured it out, but... I mean, I could go for the RNG route. It's probably not that hard. And I can't use the POW under the P-Switch blocks. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna die. Going in there with Fire Flower is just a death. No matter what. No matter how you look at it, it's just pure death. Hmm. It might be possible to jump frame one. Let me see. It might actually be possible to jump frame one out of here. Oh my god, it is. It doesn't solve the problem of the mushroom, though. Actually, no, it does. Because these blocks will be gone unless they're vines. Are they vines? Let me see. No, they're gone forever. Now all I have to do is go back in here. 
bring a pal with me and I win? I have, every, I have everything else at my disposal here. Just don't freaking die. All these hidden blocks is the problem. You could just die any turn, honestly. Did I already use a pal? I think I did. Um, Grab the other one. Don't die first. Jesus, dude. I'm so afraid of dying to these darn freaking things. All right. They can't do anything now, right? Yeah. Why did I go in here again? Oh, right, to get my first bomb. <laughs> uh, I guess while we're here, let's do a wheel spin, because this is going to take a while. Everyone gets 2,500, all right. There. So the bomb here is, well, it's just a classic. You're about to find out what it is. Is that the last area? All right. I guess I could put a comment saying frame one, jump out of the pipe to dodge lucky draw. All right, now where is it? I could put the other one for, um, do I want to put the bomb comment here? I feel like I don't need to put a bomb comment here. I want the lucky draw comment and I want the acorn comment maybe. Do I need that? Let me see. Yeah, I'll mark the dev acorn, actually. I won't mark the... The bomb doesn't matter. I won't mark it. I don't need to. You'll find out on one life, and then be like, ah, shit. You know. It is what it is. Alright. I get to make the comment now. I have no idea where all these coin blocks are. I'm just kind of trying to get lucky here. They all look triggered, right? Yeah. I'll make the comment in front of the pipe, I think, yeah. I forget where the bomb is at. Let me double check. The fourth one. And this is also one of Spy of the Way. Uh, we don't even... I mean, realistically, we can just keep doing this, but I think it's better if I just do this. I mean, it's kind of already open. I can take damage once, but you need both, I think. <laughs> Jesus. So easy to take damage here, because, you know, it blocks. Do I even want that pal? I don't think I need another pal. All right, let's make it a comment here. Frame one jump. Out of pipe. To avoid lucky draw. I don't think I need to mark anything else. Let me go mark the acorn. If we go down here, it should be fine now. Let me get a damage boost out of here. Uh, before I do anything else, let me pause. Let me see what jump this is. It really is truly the horrible jump. All right. I don't know how I made that. Wow. And they don't troll you any further here. Just 
Top right. Wait, how do we want to do this? Uh, full right. Full right. Pipe is above. Right side. Right side would be the best, I think. And after that, we just gotta get into the goal and there's like no other problems. Wait, you don't even need to go top of whatever. Hold on. Fox and this goal cheered with 100 bits. Roy found his nut fox in too high. Sure did. Thanks for the 100 bits, Fox. KK, <laughs> bad timing on that comment, by the way. I just beat the level. Shame on the person who got level record in the first clear, I think. Was it? Were they first clear? Let me see. Shame on the FU guy who got first clear and didn't write a single comment, I don't think. Peanut wasted his comments on calling the creator, uh, you suck. You look down here. You suck, you still suck. So, you know. What a waste of comments. I have no words, because I thought this was a pacifist level the moment I hit that key, I thought I was doomed. But there's no point in avoiding them, as far as I understand it. But why am I still jumping over them? I have no idea. I'm conditioned. Now, there is a mushroom there. Very suspicious stuff going on here. But I'll grab it anyways. If I off-screen this fast enough, you won't explode. Good. Just in case I need them. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, man. What? What is this level? Another Yoshi I hear over there. Is it green? It's red Yoshi. All right, I guess we're going this way. I don't see anything over here, but why is there a platform if there's nothing here? <sighs> I guess we're gonna go in the yellow pipe because I have no idea where to go. spawn anything? Bombs? Can they get one ups there? Hmm. Maybe. This is a weird farm. Weird one up farm. But it works, so I can't argue. I guess either we go in there or we don't. We don't go in there. We actually jumped to the right and ditched Yoshi, wow. Very weird. I can triple jump that. Right? Oh, they knew. Did they know? They know. They know. They know. Why would you put that, I guess, to prevent people from dying because wrong state? I guess that's something good in the level. Very weird level, but I don't mind the plus three. Assuming they're gonna. I spoke too soon. How and where? Down here? Nope. Can I bring a spring? Can I bring a Yoshi with me? I don't think it's the the tech to avoid that. The left side here is super suspicious in the bottom left. 
Right? Am I the only one who thinks that? Is this cleared? Two minutes. Comments on? Maybe? Like, why is there a block here? You can fall down. Is that what they want? I tried the pipe. Once you lose Yoshi, you ditch Yoshi. There's nothing in the subworld that I could see. Could be a hidden power up. That would do it. Could be a hidden power up in one of the, the bomb excavation areas. I should check all the, you know. Wait, was that? Was there a green Yoshi there? That was actually important. No. Uh oh. It's probably just a hidden propeller hat, right? Makes the most sense. Probably over there where you ditch Yoshi. It's the only thing I can think of because you can't. You can kind of. You could break. No. I don't know. I'm overthinking. That's the thing, though. I have Red Yoshi. Red Yoshi only spits fire. That's why I wanted a green Yoshi, but, you know. Because if I had a green Yoshi... I bet you there's a green Yoshi right here, and that would solve all my issues. Because I can get all the springs and make a staircase and keep Yoshi, maybe. Yeah, that would solve the issue. I like how Toadette's just so happy to ditch Yoshi. Wait, that's as far as it goes? Huh. Wait, can I make it up that high? I can. Is it the stupid- Oh, no. I really hope it's not the stupid- Seriously? Wait, why is this even- he You made a bridge! That's the only reason why that's there. The only thing I can think of. Why would else would that be there? You made a bridge. So they did do the triple jump thing where they had Yoshi. That's the only two things they could have done. They never went into the pipe, that's for sure. Problem is, I don't know if I can do this. Because I have to land there. Yeah, this is impossible. They did it on purpose. They knew better. Otherwise, they would let me do it easily. Hmm. Unless there's like a hidden non existent block here. Hold up. Because then I can just get out. That's probably why that's there. Also, how did they get a double jump so quickly? That's weird. Alright, well that's all been covered. So if it is the triple jump, it's gonna be super hard. I've seen someone do it before, but it's not fun either. It like turn on the same frame you did get a triple jump. And even then I, I don't have enough distance. I need this block to be filled right here. So something's not right. There's something hidden, or it's a green Yoshi. That's the only two options. They definitely use that as a stepping stone though, right? You can go back. How does that help me though? That's the neat part, it doesn't. Hmm. 
So if I go through there while I'm big, I can't come back. Just go back in the pipe, I guess. It could be like a hidden block under this. That's why it's on blue, maybe? Very possible. Now, if I can go back... Nope, you can't. We're gonna check the Yoshis. I have to actually kill one of the Yoshis to, before I can check it. Probably. Bottom left is the only other option, I think, or a hidden block. There's only, like, two options I have left if it's not a green Yoshi. This Yoshi is a problem, so if we off-screen him, in theory, we see the other Yoshi, whatever it is. Bruh. That's meant to be a troll? Alright, buddy. Now let's see what the other Yoshi is here. It is a green Yoshi! That solves all my issues! But, now I have to deal with bomb excavation unless I do something like this. Dude, I don't want to bring all the springs with me. Ugh. Is that even possible with Green Yoshi? Can't jump here. This is this is also impossible. Hmm. But this could be the height advantage that I need. I can also check in here. How does this help me? I don't think there's anything in there. I guess we can just check and see what's in the, these springs. Getting the springs to work together as a platform is going to be super hard to do by itself. It's doable. It might be the only way to win the level, to be honest. It's very possible. But I didn't really want to see that. I kind of want to keep this platform up here, maybe as like... Hold up, let me see. Maybe that was bad. But I want to see how far this goes down. Could be a hidden block by using the sideways springs. That's also possible. But see, this is why it's so hard to do. If this was in a SMW, this would be so easy. But the Green Yoshi doesn't actually help me all that much, unless I get a perfect Sideways Spring combo. The other thing I could do is put Sideways Springs right here and build it up to the max, but I that's not going to help because the distance... No, that's not going to help. I need to build them here, no matter what. I think. Again, there could just be a hidden power like up here somewhere. Highly possible. I don't know if I want to play it, because my lives are getting low, and I said I would stop playing these levels, and here we are. I did check the yellow pipe, so obviously that ain't it. Um... I think... I think I'm just gonna take the L and, uh... die to the left side and see if there's anything over there. Maybe pause and try to get a freebie out of it. A free life. Because I don't know what else to do. And this is just a dumb level, so... You can take all these springs, but... Guiding all these springs is just wouldn't be fun. There could again, there could be a hidden block here. I should check for those at least before leaving. Cause why else would you give out a green Yoshi? And they knew the other Yoshi would not trigger. They are aware of that. Yeah, I don't know. I why am I jumping over this? I just think these springs are super sus. Oh. What if I just spit out a spring before Yoshi dies? I would have the height needed, right? Wait a minute. That could work. I would just need a... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Before we get crazy... Let's do this. That should be good. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can get back up now. Let's reset all of this, get a new spring. I just need a bigger jump, because I'm pretty sure Yoshi can't make it all the way over there. Don't die for that, please. I found it! I found the <laughs> I was about to do something really stupid. Bro, what? It was just here the whole time? Are you kidding me? Did anyone write a comment for- No, no one wrote a, wrote a comment for that. Shame on you. I was about to just give up on the level, and I was like, okay, we'll try this strat. God, so stupid. Alright, well, try this strat, I guess. Strat would have worked if it had a tower. My god. What? What a dumb level. Where's that last one? There it is. I gotta hit him with this. Actually, you know what? No, even better. I'll give him a more snarky comment. They're gonna get reported, but like, who cares? Try post strats? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Somehow I got a plus one off of that. All right, we're gonna take that world record because no one wrote a comment on that. Shame on you. Puzzle solving, right? 2019, wow. Well. I don't know why I'm avoiding you still. Do I even need Yoshi? That's why the dude, that's why the springs are there, I just realized. Yoshi's not even required to win, well. Took you two minutes to beat that level. You probably like, it was like one and done once you found you were done in that life. Unless you beat it twice. Bro beat it twice and still was too slow. On their second clear. Actually, no, it, it, sorry, that's my clear. Sorry. <laughs> I'm making a fool of myself. Bro was two minutes long, right? And so was the creator. What took them two minutes long? They had bombs, Yoshis. You can just grab your dead. Are they just? I know why. It's 2019. Players were not that good by then. I get it. So in 2019, that is the player who is not very good at the game. Put a developer item in their level. Still grabbed a Yoshi just to progress, and then flew over after two minutes. Oh God. Yeah, that's my fault. What? If I saw a muncher there, and how unclear? Okay, I'm a little curious. I'll take a look at it. The spry springs can give you one you can take back. Oops, wrong button. Fly springs. You can't bring Yoshi with you, though, unless you use a... The only way to bring a Yoshi with you is to use a stack of springs. You have to ditch Yoshi no matter what, unless you have, like... I want to say a stack of eight springs is my best guess. Because... Yoshi ain't gonna make that height. You have to do you just have to ditch him. And you have to get the spring from the other world, but yeah. I'm a little curious about this level. This was made yesterday. Yeah. I don't like these spin jumps, they're dumb. But it's okay. Why are you laughing at me? What is this level? What is this level? What did they just devolve into?
Well, I mean, you got your boo. I wasn't really gonna boo it for the first spin jump, even though I kind of do that off and on. I don't know. It really is. Wait, where's the key? In the saw blade? That's where I would put it. At the beginning? Maybe. Alright, we're putting this one in the viewer. Good thing I died and skipped. Jesus. Awful level. Oh my lord, it's really that simple, huh? Dude, the level's not even that- oh gosh. This is just- this is something else. You didn't even try to hide the dev key, it's literally at the end. That's crazy. Also, you can make this a 10 second level. I don't- WHAT?! I didn't even look in the viewer for all this information. Where's the real- Oh, the real doors are back at the beginning. WAIT! How do you survive the saw blade on your way back? Oh. <laughs> That's how. You're not gonna believe it, but there's another dev key. They actually did hide something, but it's not in a good spot either. Oh my lord. Dude, all I had to do in Super Expert is just check around that door and I would have won. How did this get in Super Expert? Hold on, let me at least write the, you know, the, the comment. Might as well. Jesus. I look at the end of the level on viewer and I was like, huh. I thought that was the only way to get the key. I didn't look at- I didn't bother to look at the other key door. I assumed it was fake. It was the other way around. Jeez. First world record is gonna remain that way unless someone takes it. They can have it. Well, that's what I get for making a fool out of myself, I guess. We've only done five levels, by the way, in an hour. But that's mostly because I've been kind of exploring some interesting levels. I'm focusing more on content than clears at this point. I don't really care anymore. Hey, I only looked at the right side of editor and that is it. In my defense. Oh my lord. This is just hot garbage. It's at least, but there's one up there. enough. <laughs> sure is. I don't know how that was somehow lucky to get three one-ups. What they should have done in that previous uh, speedrun level, the 2.666 one, they should have just put a hidden mushroom somewhere and forced the other key. I don't know why they didn't just think more evil, but yeah. A bonus level, right? Good thing I ignored the two thwomps at the bottom of the water. Just feel like it was not a good one anyways. Can you dodge that? You can. Hmm. Triple jump? I couldn't tw twirl again for some reason. Probably over a spike is why. What does B mean? Jump? All three. All right. You can't see anything. <laughs> oh my god! Is this like one of those um speed run, hold right, spike muscle memory, blind levels? With clear condition, that's so absurd. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna get out of here. If I'm gonna die to a spike right there, I gotta get out of here. I can't be wasting lives like that. Besides, there's like three 30 coins randomly in the level that's probably hidden in like a pipe or something. It's not even worth it, to be honest. Speaking of things not worth it. Speaking of things not worth it, Jesus. Give me a nice level, would ya? That bonus level is nice. I need more of those. This is Team Speed Run. Yeah, Team Speed Run, I gotta skip. Also, it's been apparently an hour for choose characters, so I'm gonna swap back. What, Ted? Don't worry about it. Wait, what? What do you mean, drain my soul? Huh? Where did that come from? Sorry for the bad luck. Why are you guys sorry? It's not even your fault. Wait, did I just skip a section? Wait, can't you just jump up and... <laughs> this level. Uh, what, which one do you think it is? What section do you think that is? That's what I need to know. Hold on, let me level check. Um, I don't know. I can't tell. It's probably the red pipe area, right? No, the, mm. you know what? Instead of just wondering, wait, we saw a red pipe up there. We see a green pipe there. It's probably the yellow area. Or maybe it's just, oh, maybe I need a key door to go into a key. I don't know, man. This is weird. You're the person that redeemed the, no, Corbin. Luck does not pertain to characters. What do you mean? But it does not have different luck. It's, it's all the same, really. Fine, I gotta go through anyways. There's a checkpoint? In theory, you could kill this Lemmy. You can kill the Lemmy with, um... Let me... Man, I could have one-ups right here. I should have died right there, to be honest. So the thing about getting one-ups here... Gotta go low. There we go. It's fine. Try to grab one. Why is there a checkpoint here? It's so weird. I just picked correctly, I guess? There's two doors, though. But I see a blue pipe, and I see a green, and I see a red, so it has to be... Oh, there's another yellow pipe. So both of the yellow pipes go to the doors. I gotta pick the right one, I see. Womp section. Hold on. What do you mean the ballman's gonna punish you? I think... Okay, so the thwomp, it has to be the other one, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Let me just check. Seems like an easy section. And now we don't go in the other pipe and we're good. Good, 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 good. So we go in the red pipe and then blue pipe and we win. Uh, what in the hell? Oh, 
Oh my god. Jesus. Wait, could I have just gone back in the pipe with the- Oh. Too late now, I guess. I could have gone back in the pipe, I think, and won. Fine. Um, that's actually not fine. That's not fine either, the timer. I'm just gonna go in here. Please don't kill me. Why did you put me so close to the lava? That was really scary. I'm gonna try something. I think you can just beat the level in one go through the boom boom room. Decent level? Um... I mean, that boom boom fight was pretty unfortunate. We didn't even get to see the Morton fight because we just skipped it. I would say it was okay. Let me double check here. Is this progressive? No. Any progressives? No. So we get to kill Boom Boom, and then we go back in? Oh, we can't go back in. If we had a ow, maybe. What else could we do? Hmm. I'm gonna check a different room. I bet you you can cheese one of these rooms easily, actually. Not sure about the Morton room, though. The Gloomer room definitely... Wait. I guess this label is Gloomba. This is the Morton room I never went into. I mean, you do get a Gloomba, right? This boss fight is terrible! This fight's actually bad. <laughs> no way am I ever gonna- nope. No like for you anyways, Jesus. We could do the, the- the cool trick. You're probably wondering, what the hell is the cool trick? Well, I can bring a Galoomba and then do like a spin jump off of him, maybe. On the other hand, I could just do this and win level. But I had to do it like several times, you know? I had to do it several times to win, but it's doable. Wait for that guy to come down first. Dang it. So that is doable. Do I want to do it that bad, though? Oh, one more try and then we move on. And again, I can take a, whatchamacallit, a Galoomba with me and up throw and Z jump off of it, but I don't know if it's gonna be worth it with the conveyor there. I don't think so. Wow. I got him, that's one. Hello, sir. No, oh, God, dude. <laughs> this is so terrible. Got him. All right. Please stop throwing balls at me and actually progress. No! 
Why did I do that to myself? I kind of want it now. Give me no room to work with anything there. There we go. Please, ultimate speed run. Sub 30? Sub 30, let's go. have any comments in it hold on wait a minute no comments on either they quit or there actually is a hidden item in there 2020 that was before no that was after the wave so yeah this would be afflicted by the i quit the game and never turned it back on but just in case i want to double check on the level Oh. Oh god, I just looked. There's actually an easier way to getting the key. It might even be faster. You can go into the other pipe with the mole fight. Get the key, use the spring, go back in the pipe, and you win. Oh my lord. But I don't see any of the hidden stuff in the level. That's, that's literally it. Nothing hidden. They had a pea balloon idea, but they kind of just stopped. I think I might try it after this. I might go for the, the speed run tag, maybe. I don't know if it's worth it, honestly, though. Mostly focusing on trying to get lives, anyways. Oh my god. Oh, that- Wait, I need to hit the- No, that is just hot garbage. So I need to... Beat all of the Goombas to win. Alright. I booted because it's just hot garbage time attack. Oh my lord, you see the issue? I gotta get out of there fast. Just trust, I guess. Wow. One more time, maybe? I just gotta not die to the Goombas. That's all I care about. Get my lives back here. There we go. If I wasn't lucky on the first time at attempting those line of Goombas without knowing there was hidden blocks there, I would have just died by not moving. I got pretty lucky with the amount of Goombas that are in there. Speaking of Goomba clear conditions, by the way. Where did you hide the single Goomba? It says at least, right? Yeah, so where's the single Goomba? <laughs> at least, huh? Can you kill that Goomba? Is that a thing? Or is there a Goomba hidden in the level somewhere? Hmm. 
11 seconds tells me it's just this good though. Triforce collected. Desincha has found the three pieces to claim our gift to tier one sub. Wow. Yeah, ding dong, found my dev item. I assume it's for yourself, Dis. I'll give it two minutes if someone wants to try to steal it. Oh, hey, look. Your favorite. Play a 30 seconds commercial for Fox in the school. Oh, Fox, how dare you? Yeah, I'm not doing this. I'm not gonna give me top either. Dude, there's so many, like, things. I, dude, I have to build it for the aesthetics alone. I can't see a thing. You put too many vines, and it makes it very confusing. Sorry. This is a Mario Maker 1 speedrun, isn't it? I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Couldn't jump. Emotes only chat for two minutes. No spinny wheel. I'll take it, sure. Wow, oh, look at this guy. Spamming out cards. Rich's return? Well, I hope he never comes back. Fire bar precision? Yeah. Do you guys see that? Why is this here? No reason other than just to get a free boo. Ugh. Why is it even there? I can't see where I'm going. Of course I'm going to stop there and look. <laughs> God, this level stinks. Am I gonna get punished for twirling? No, in fact, you had to do maximum twirls, basically. Wow. They're, they're, the dude, <laughs> blind jumps just like that. All right, fine. Also, we galaxy music, by the way. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Sorry. Even earned the respect for me to do that kind of tag. What? Why is the arrow so soon? Is it because? Because of this? Yes, all right. Oh, They always have to throw in this, don't they? You gotta go a little early. You go late, you just die instantly. That's why we're doing this. There we go. Well, at least I got coins, I guess. Oh, what is this? Why?
Blind jump. With a Bowser clear condition, mind you. Random door is gonna instantly kill me, watch. Uh, what? I'm just locked out of the level now? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I'm just locked out of the level. I'm not even allowed to play anymore. What, what even is that? You're supposed to hold right out of that door pre-knowledge? Holy crap, dude. I think we found a breadwinner today. I think I know what level I'm gonna send Sugar or Zero, jeez. Do that. I was about to wall jump there and I could have died. Don't trust multiple note blocks. Never trust. Also, is this. Nah, no, it can't be in the end of the level, can it? Because you can't go back. Yeah. Give the code. Sure, after I die one more time, I'll let you have the code. Or it should be on the OCR if it's. Oh. It's like you get, if you get locked out of a boss rush. That's the craziest part of this level. It's like, sorry, you can't play our boss rush now. <laughs> what is this hot garbage? Can you get one ups off of bouncing off of these several times? I don't know, actually. I've never tried. I didn't get it with stars, though. I have to kill everything though. You can't leave any stone untouched. There could be multiple hidden keys from these enemies. I mean, I guess we have the clown cars I should be using. Oh, you got the clown car, no! <laughs> Get out of my clown car. Oh God. I have to take damage here just to get my power up. Lemmy has to go now. I know it's just a clear condition to beat Bowser, but I don't want to play this again, so I have to kill everything. Let me first. Get him out of here. It truly is a menace. Oh my god, are we done yet? <laughs> no, <laughs> we're not done. Then I'm gonna have a single key, but I have to check no matter what. Because they could be that one guy who puts in the key in like Morton and you just get screwed over. I had that happen once before in a level similar to this. Not a speedrun, but similar in the sense that one of the Kublings did have a key. I also had a level that had a random bully key that you had to progress out of nowhere. That was weird. Anyways, I didn't think they would have anything, but just in case, because it's super expert. Oh. Could have been a triple stack Bowser, but no. You had to ruin the suspense. And yes, I know, single clear condition. And it says all, but like, it's still hopeful, you know. He has a key and a clear condition. What is the point? Put a checkpoint at the boss fight. Remove the stupid lock-in feature. God. I have to check all every Dude, I have to check all the pipes now. It's super expert. I don't want to die. I would hate to die in this kind of level. Is there a way to get 1-ups? No, sadly not. There's a way to get a lot of points in this level if you care about that much, though. But no, 1-ups are not on the table. Well, I guess maybe not so much, but still. Let me go grab the level code.
As far as I can tell, there was no way to make one ups there. I don't think stepping on the boom booms would have made a difference. I'm pretty sure. Hi, JB. There you go. Also, it's in the thumbnail. I guess if Zero were to get this, he would have no idea. Uh, other than the fact that thumbnail kind of... Well, if he doesn't pay attention to the thumbnail, then he wouldn't have no idea. But he would have an idea if he saw the thumbnail. But there's your level code. I'm doing fine. Uh, stress from these awful levels, but that's just normal, so... There. That's the one thing it was missing, is the THX, actually. How to train your snake block, an excuse to make a horrible snake block section. A oh, nice, uh, nice heartbeat. Why are we doing this? I get the point that it's to train your snake plot, but like, come on. I don't think this is even worth it. If the first door does that, I gotta get out of here. All right, sounds good, Corbin. I'm dead if I don't throw it instantly out of the door, right? Yeah. What is the L there for? Why am I even jumping over those? They don't matter. Weird bubble. Why is... Okay, I see it, but I kind of want the coins real quick. There we go. Like, it's very clear they use this as a shortcut. I just stayed over there, I guess. <laughs> I got sucked to the void. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wow, what a dumb way to die. I hate these for spin jumps. I don't know why I'm jumping, but I'm afraid it's actually going to hurt me for some reason. Because why else would they have that there? Well, there goes my coinage, I guess. You know the worst part is? I didn't have to do any of that. I could just have spin jumped over the, all the enemies. Also, I could have also cheesed that as well. Don't you dare kill me here. I mean, I'll take a star run, sure. Hmm, you know, they made multiple of those like little one block pathways after Subworld. They clearly knew what they were doing, right? Whatever is it, that triple jump and onwards is probably really hard. Why else would you have a shortcut in your level like that? All right, Foxy, in an hour. Wait, what? Step forward. S T. What stand for? Uh, Fedekin. Thank you for the tier one. Welcome to the hideout. I'm back at rank three. What happened? <laughs> uh, Hoopa passed me. It's as simple as that. Oh. Hmm. So that was 15 seconds to play a level. I'm gonna skip it in this instance of keeping the run alive.
this. I don't think Team Skip works if it's ST, right? Trapped in the ghost house. Why are you laughing at me? If I go back in that ghost, or that door, I die, basically. Why do I need this guy? Do I need this guy? Oh, he's gone now. Goodbye. Hope I don't need you, because I don't want to go back in that door in case it just somehow does kill me. Imagine that was another boo ring. I'd have been so mad. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Very funny. I have to take damage there if I want to hit this on off. Dang it. That's okay though. Ah, <laughs> very funny. You know, if I go back into the. No, that wouldn't work. Never mind. I don't even need you, anyways. Though it would be nice to have that and another one to make one ups off of, but I can't get up there, naturally. I had to bring. Oh. Hmm. I have to think about that one. Probably a damage boost somewhere. Through a skewer, maybe. I guess we can kill the booze for one ups now. I mean, the on ups did change. But they don't want me to have this dry bowl. I'm gonna test something. Can I go back in this door without dying? Mm, I guess we're gonna find out the hard way. We're fine, all right. Don't need this, but it would be useful for making one-ups. how I wanted it, but it kind of works. I want to test something. Does one of them have a key? I don't even know where the key is. Oh, could be one of the boos. Don't kill me, please. Not that one. Not that one. Definitely not in this boo ring. Hmm. Anything up here? No. I can kill this guy. As well as the other Mecha Koopa up there. No key there! Alright, what? What do I even do? I can up throw. That's an option. Well, I found the solution. <laughs> it was a hidden Morton off screen. Cool. You had to have the tribal on or you would have died there. Wow. I was thinking about taking it off because of the the booze on the doors earlier. If I would have done that, I would have died instantly and been really upset. No, no one decided to rebuttal your card. I guess I give you one now. Yes. Though my internet has been very slow lately. Yo mama said to play this. Really, did she now? There it goes. I was wondering if it's gonna show up or not. That should be it though for the cards, right? 
Grasp your new power! Yeah, I did everything, including the co uh, the commercial and it, and the emote only. Let me refresh. Same payment is processing still, even though it's not true. <laughs> what? Wait, you can grab that star. Hold on. If I go in that warp box, I'm fine, right? I don't know why I'm not just doing it this way. No, you can't. That's why I checked. Alright. Ah, yes. The classic. How did I miss all of those? Why is that there? Oh, you beat the level? No way! This is just the end of the level right here. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'll I'll test. Wow, that was actually progression. Hey, how's it going, Miazur? Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, is it fine? Can you, like, go away, sir? I'd like to go in that door or something. Maybe not even that door, somewhere else. Just somewhere different. I know where the ending is at. I have to try really hard to win now. Don't accidentally take damage here. Bro, can you like jump? Please. The spring apparently that they want you to use, but I can cheese the whole level if this asshole of a freaking Meowser will get his ass over here so I can win the level. He's stuck over there for infinitely, isn't he? You know? Looks like a job for you. Oh my god. Dude, I just glitched him out. He actually went forward because of that. That's crazy. Is he just, is he just gonna jump infinitely now? What is going on? Thank god he's done. Jeez. Whoa, be careful. If you want to win, you gotta do this properly. There we go. No, I've only played Bowser's Fury, and I own the game, but I haven't played the original yet. Pretty sure that's not what the creator wanted, but maybe. Who knows? Because that Meowser in the way is terrible, and I needed to find a way out, but I wasn't going to take any warp boxes to, to do that. Bro Force 8? Yeah, at some point I was going to play, I just didn't know when. Uh, go? Oh. What the heck is this? A one of generator, that's what that is. You know, you can get in that door. Do you want to get in that door? What? 
Okay, they want you to go in that door, but it's like a skull. Isn't that death? It's not death. I'm gonna assume this is where I want to go, based on the logic of the level at this point. Though the double pipe is kind of weird. Oh my god! You don't think it's a troll, huh? Well, I mean, I'm glad I had the piece that's running because I was a dead man probably. <laughs> Uh, Lou, how long have you been here? But my level has never been about you creating your own level. I don't care what you send. It's just like Zero's redemption. It doesn't, like, if someone actually cares about the fact that you have to make the level, that's kind of kind of dumb. I'm going to be honest. Like, there's so many levels that people want to share. You have to what, make your own level to share something. That's crazy. At least that's how I feel about it. Run. But there's auto scroll. I can't run an auto scroll. What do you mean? I can only go tiptoeing the whole way through. There was no way for me to know that was there without a coin indicator. Luckily, they give me barely enough time to do anything. If you're gonna send me a really obnoxious, annoying dark level, that's fine. Just know I probably won't give it more than 5 to 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what you do there. I'm dead. There is no way you can do that without knowing it's there. I don't think there's any chance in any universe that you could do that first try. Unless you pause buffer. That's the only time you could do it. Hey, that one was already blind enough as is, but you have enough time to realize it, so that's fine. The second one, though, is like, it needs coin indicators badly. Are these springs here just to be used as platforms and not actually to grab, really? We put them in the ground for that. Although it might make it a little bit more awkward. Where is it? Where's the on-off? The vine section, great. No? I think this level is actually pretty innocent. It's just super blind. I hope I don't need that spring. Because there's no way I'm supposed to know that on off switch was there. It stops. Does it go back down? It does not. Would I rather have a thwomp launcher level or a speedrun S? I'd rather do speedrun. If it's a thwomp thingy with like a, a glitch or something, I'd rather have this speedrun. Where's the skull platform, by the way? You have this, like, lift to take the player up for the THX, but you didn't include the skull platform. Or as they know it as the lava lift. The Unless the Thwomp Launcher level is the wall jump one, I can do either or, it doesn't matter. If it's like a glitch launcher thing, I don't have any interest really. I've seen it. I've basically seen it all. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. Even though I know I could get it second try, I'm going to get hit by a fireball. Uh, the fireball is going to be 
RNG related, so not worth it. Okay, why do I need a bomb? Actually. Hmm, could have had him. Oh, these are just random items? Why do I want random items? Hmm. Probably cape in one of them. There's the only item that matters. Gaining some distance. Alright, now we know where it's at. Please go up, Luigi. Oh my lord, hey, Barry. I guess I'm just not gonna be able to fly today. I'm dead. I should have just paid attention. Where's the on-off switch, by the way? Ah, it's a wheel spinning. I think it was before in the firebar area, huh? Yeah, firebar, for sure. Why is there a bomb? Oh, that's why. I'm supposed to shell kick that? Yikes. How am I supposed to aim that? I guess a bomb could work too, but... Can you stop it with the Wii Galaxy music? Holy shit, my guy. Put it on the character next time. Jesus. There's no way I do that. Uh, what else did they give me? A magic hoopa? I guess I can get another shell if I'm lucky. There you go, there's your shell. Oh, so close. I think there's something in the spring, maybe. Like, next to the spring area. Probably not. Man. Whatever, moving on. So guarded by awful shell tossing level design. And there's no way it can be the whole level. I feel like it's got to sub to something. So it's not even worth playing. Oh, it is a glitch, all right. Wait, was this level called? Oh, the lore level. There is zero chance that's real. Unless this, somehow this bone bridge thing is fake. Is I no on there? Ding dong. Fine. What? Down or up? What do you mean? Why would I want to go down? It doesn't look that bad. But... I guess we'll try it. I could use the P-Switch to go the other route. Oh, it's getting smaller. Hold on. It might actually get to a Trump uh, area. Hold up. Let's play it smart here. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go that way just to be safe.
I think we'll play your level after this level. Might be a good time to do it. Because I know you're going to give me a hard, probably unfair level, more than likely. Better if I just play a decent level. Clean up my palette and then play a horrible level. Hey look, it's, there's a soft luck up there. That's great. Why is this here? For speed? I don't even know speed. I kind of want the coins, though, to be fair. You know what? I'll give it a fair shy. Fair try, you know? I'm not doing that. Just gonna play it nice and safe. How am I supposed to kill Bowser? What? He jump? That's not jumping. Oh, I'm screwed. Um, unless I can get Yoshi. Can you please? Hello, sir? Oh my god, he actually finally jumped over me. Um, so what? Ha but you can't win from checkpoint if you do that. So you have to be here, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I went up here because that was a one-time deal. Oh, there goes all my coin count. That's fine, though. I'm hoping to get to, like, 80 or 70 or something like that. <laughs> I somehow got Yoshi back. What? Good luck on that. If that heart wasn't there, there was no way I would have landed back on Yoshi. All right, we're going to make an obvious comment picture in this level. The question is where? It has to be obvious in terms of, like, it's Captain Obvious kind of deal. It can't be like, oh, you have to do this thing and it's actually useful. I mean, the, the dev door is obviously bait. Should I put a comment there? No, that seems not very good to waste a comment picture on that. No. Well, I got a reason to boot a level, at least. Hmm, where do I want? I could bake, I could do the 50 coin. This is a 50 coin kind of deal and ride it. But I think that also wouldn't be good either. Let me look around. Hmm, peace was just too easy either because even though it ding dongs at me, definitely don't care that much about it. Hmm. I'm looking around for a perfect spot. You spend let's the points, so let's look around. Smiley face. Hey, Drag, thanks for the Prime in nine months. Welcome back. This is too easy. I think I gotta go in the sub world. Hmm, good dude, watch out for the saw blade. Draw a saw blade. But I want it to be funny, you know? Yeah, but that's too... That's not obvious. That's just... I'm looking around. I could draw a muncher. Though my skills of drawing a muncher would be really bad. Let me look around. Oh, we could have a comment on the donut block so people will see it right here. Maybe. Let me look around a little bit more. Oh no, I have the perfect comment. Because they pointed at the slope, I have to I have to put a comment here. It's perfect. Uh picture, here we go. We're gonna make a uh, a slope, that's the plan. And we're gonna say this is the slope. <laughs> that's what this is exactly what we're gonna do. I was gonna go up and down is fine. There we go. So we're gonna make a slope. We could probably draw a, th a thwomp up here, but eh, it doesn't really matter. And then we'll go up here like this. Hmm. Maybe more of a. It, it, what is it a smooth or was it a steep slope? That's a good question. I think it was a smooth one, right? 
I think it was smooth. So I gotta be like... Like that. Perfect. And we're gonna point at it with an arrow saying this is a slope. I think it's... It's honestly the best one you could boot in this level. Because they're pointing at a slope and you have no idea why there's an arrow though. Why are they pointing there? For speed? Like, why would you need that, you know? If I can get this perfectly. Actually, I probably could do like that. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. All right, we're going to put an arrow here, and we're going to point at it. No, I need a bigger arrow. And then we can do... This. No, that's too small. This? This. This. Ugh, it's ugly, but it's fine. At, okay, S is going to be hard. That's good. Is... That's fine. And it will make a big A. So why not? And put slope. Yeah. I think that's good. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> I mean, hey, it works. Is that good enough? I think that's good enough. Someone's gonna see it and be like, what the fuck? Why did you write that? I don't know. I know what we do around here. I think it's perfect. Alrighty, now that we did that, let's go play a lose level. Ooh, spin jump there could have been a good one, you're right. <laughs> spin jump here, pointing at the arrow. <laughs> I mean, I think it's funny just to like, arrow pointing at slope, like why the hell is it there? Oh, I know, we'll just make a comment there, it's perfect. Did it just say it's expecting booze? Really? It's just like you knew your level was bad, I guess. I'm putting this in the viewer right away. I'm not gonna give this a chance. Actually, wait. I want to see that door and where did that go. So if that kills me, I have an instant boo. You could almost make that. You time your wall jump, but you only get up to the stump and they knew that, so... Let's get that boo out of the way. Alright, I don't need to look at the viewer yet unless I'm confused. Oh, I see what they did. Yep, yep, this is definitely boo-worthy content. Ninety seconds though, huh? Oh, I see why that's there. It wasn't instant. I mean, they still tried to kill you to be fair, so you know. Just gotta get that boo out of the way if it deserves it. That is actually rough. I should jump there. Your boot wasn't instant. I mean, I couldn't die instantly, so, you know. There's an arrow in the ice right there. Okay, gotta get used to it. Might be okay with it? What does that even mean? Like, for... For, um... Judging-wise, boo-like, etc. You got a death door in the beginning. Of course I'm gonna boo it. That's just a rule, you know? I enjoy parts of it. Yeah, it's alright so far. I mean... Wait, does Spinny Jump stop all your momentum? Wait a minute. Is this actually a good tech I didn't know about? Oh, it does. Dude, I just learned something new today. I need more... I, need, I just need to hold right there. Also, P-Switch coming up. That is actually really cool tech. Disagree, but you know it's Nintendo. And this has been worth it. Oh, the learning something? Yeah. I had no idea you could stop most of the ice if you spin. Or uh, if you're spinning. That is something brand new. 
If I do a spinning jump there, can I just bypass all of that? I wonder. See, this is just trial and error. This is no way in hell fair, but it is what it is. I disagree with that death. That's a Nintendo issue. Not really, because the spike is as big as it's gonna get, but it just doesn't look like it's realistic because the perspective shifting of the 2.5D aspect. Oh, you can, huh? What is this? What is this hot garbage speedrun? It's so blind when there's a P-Switch timer on the line. Alright, I'm gonna put a 10 minute timer on this right now. Unless I make a considerable amount of progress. Like halfway plus. You know. There's no hidden crap in the level, right, Lou? Checked. Also, I don't know how tight this level is. I just realized. Too much speed to the left. You can skip the P-Switch, I just realized. But obviously you don't want to. Well, all right, the P-Switch timer doesn't seem to be tight. It seems to be semi-tight. That's okay. Oh, are there Kaizo blocks preventing you from getting to the goal from that door? Are you serious? Bro, they actually thought you could choose that. A little too early to the right. That is so funny that they really thought you could cheese that. That means they don't know their own uh, ability to de cheese something like that. Or they're so worried about their being cheese and they don't want people to beat the level instantly. And they put over put D cheese everywhere. That doesn't need to be there. A lot of new soup and SMW Kaiser levels do that. And I don't know why. It's like, why is there so many hidden blocks in this level? It's honestly impossible to beat the level if you fall here anyway, so what's the point? Thirty seconds in basically. Oh, what is this? What am I doing? Am I supposed to put it down? There's just random springs down there? Oh my lord. Okay, do, do I need the shell? Yes, I need the shell. That is correct. So the feature timer is tight, because if you don't get to that thwomp before he hits the wall, you're screwed. Great. Should check the clear check time, just to be safe. Oh my god, I have no time! Please! Luigi! Make the stupid jump! Well, I lose now. What, what am I supposed to do here? You have to get to the P-Switch before any of that shit? Holy... You gotta do everything first try there. Hold on, no, 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 no. This level doesn't deserve respect. I need to look through all of these doors, because I'm not going to do everything. There's no way. To do everything first try. Get in that door, we hold right, and it's just a bunch of wall jump stuff. That's easy, 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 easy. More easy-ish wall jump le level stuff. Blind wall jump, that's fine. There's an exclamation point block in this level. Hold up. Alright, so you hit it with a long jump. It pushes the P-switch down. 
And you have to get over the... No, no, you just run over the launcher. You have a box. You toss the box in there. You do a spinning jump. The box is going to fall in here otherwise. So you have to grab the box in there. Throw in which one? What? Oh, yeah, I guess you want to throw it in this one and then wall jump here. Oh, they have a box indicator, kind of. Why is there a sad face here? <sighs> Grab the box again, go in there, toss it. Are you? Are you fucking with me right now? It's a midair box jump contraption? Well, sorry, Lou, I have no more interest. I'm not wasting my time on this anymore. I do appreciate it, though. I don't, I, dude, I would have to set up a practice for that area at the end. You could have just warned me there's a minute box jump at the end, and I would have probably made the section, and then practice it, and then play the level. But yeah, no, I'm not touching that, no way, someone else can do it. Someone who has Kaizo ability, I'm not touching it, sorry. It's just a waste of time. After all that, after all that, you have to do a random contraption minute box thing. Oh, well, if you send it to someone, just tell them, hey, it's a minute box. Yeah, you know, at the end. Make sure you look in the viewer. That's gonna take me over an hour, and I don't got time for that. Everything else I can do within like 30 minutes. It's just that one final jump. I don't know how to time it. I would practice it in viewer. And you toss it apparently. You can send it back again, but if you do, I'm gonna have to put a practice section in my own game. What is this indicator? <laughs> you didn't throw it early? Oh, man. I mean, that's what that indicator is, huh? Wow. All right, I gotta pay attention now. There's no indicator for that one, though. What? All right, so every time I see that exact same setup, we toss it on the second jump here. If we don't, we die. We die anyways, because that's a weird setup for the hold rider. But yeah, if you want me to beat that, you have to spend points again. Because that is awful. Speaking of awful, at least you can see the spin jump. Wow, you have the audacity to throw in a freaking troll that you can easily dodge. What are you doing? No. Non-existent indicator on the second one that's desperately needed. I mean, artificial difficulty is one of the issues. And the troll at the end is just like the major boot part. Cause you can easily hold right and die to that much in midair. But I was playing it nice and safe and waited for something just in case. And that's why I waited for it. Wait, Mario wall jumps for Peach's love? Why is Luigi here then? That's a good question. You know, you can jump over that. Pretty sure. Let me double check. I don't need it, though, so I'm not going to use it. What's all this? Hey, Red Knight. What the heck? This feels like Mario Maker 1. The way it's designed. 
So I want to hit this and go down? Alright. Wait, where's the thwomp at? Oh, let's see. Doable, I guess. Jump over? Jump over. 100%. Mmm. I shouldn't try to cheese this. Yeah. Why would I hit that? Oh. <sighs> Seems like a troll to me. Lots of clapping in this level. It's not a bad thing, it's just a little weird. I heard their dry bone fish there. I've never seen that hitbox before. But hey, I, we learn something new every day, right? This has to be the end. No, I see that uh, IPK has that. Oh, I see. I gotta kill the... Dry bones, I think. You know, jailbreak levels are escape levels, I guess. Pretty rare. Um, why didn't he get triggered? That's weird. Hold right. Yes. Also, one-ups. Do I really want these one-ups that bad? Yeah, I kind of do. Also, I don't need a spin jump here. Realize, I can just go over here. Makes things a little bit easier. Did that to myself to be fair. I forgot they always target you when they come back up. I should have been more careful about that. Was not. Yeah, IPK is not bad to watch by any means, but be careful. Um, <laughs> it's very meme -y in there, let's put it that way. Not quite like Aura meme with like spam or anything. It's you'll understand when you when Lord Baby spam comes up. You'll understand. Also, you might never give the honest truth from IPK. It's not that he's a liar or anything. It's just he has a hard time being blunt and honest. <laughs> I've noticed. Yeah, no, he's not bad by any means, don't get me wrong, it's just, it's a different experience. I don't know if people will like it or not. I mean, he gets a lot of viewers, so obviously people must love it, so. I'm in there occasionally. Maybe I should've killed that guy. Don't aw me. You know exactly what you did there. How am I gonna avoid that? Thanks for saving you? Saving you from what? No, I'm just saying you should check it out at least, at the very minimum. For sure. 
I'm not trying to say don't watch him. I, I would say give him one free chance, you know? <laughs> Before you make your decision. Don't just take my word for it. Like, I watch him occasionally, so that obviously he can't be that bad. I'm not saying he's a bad person. I'm just saying it's... It's very hard... Oh, I'm gonna die. It's very hard to get the truth out of the man. Because you never know when he's joking or not. That's the problem. What am I supposed to be doing here? Mm, yeah, okay, that hit me. I don't know how to get past any of this, because I got to hit the on-off somehow. But how? Well, Barry, I guess they did say 1337, I suppose. It's just really hard to know if they're joking. That's all. What am I supposed to be doing here? Because you can't hit the on-off with the thwomp here. So what do they want from me? I can kill the thwomps. Not gonna help, though. I guess I'll just wait for the pieces to go and figure out what... Oh, maybe I go up? I didn't even think about that. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, okay! We're doing that, apparently. Also, do I need a mushroom to get past this? What is this? Oh, it's a vent, actually. That kind of makes sense. Well, I could have got my one-ups from here, in this room, with the dry bowl shell. Cool. Hey, do you spawn the munchers? That was my plan, but I, don't, I guess that doesn't matter anymore. It's a cool idea, I just don't like the muncher troll. I wish it had made it obvious a little bit. On screen, obvious. Am I not on blue for any reason? Okay, well, we get that from checkpoint at least. The bone on the right, I see that. Not sure if that's a dev rat or not. I uh, probably should remember where that bone is at, just to be safe. Yeah, other than the muncher thing, this is a cool level. I like it so far. I could probably get over the muncher thing if the whole level is just this good. Wait, what am I supposed to be? Oh. You need a burner to open that up, right? Alright, that's not a bad idea. You know, if you get too many burners on that, I think that section is impossible. Unless... Yeah, some of them are, like, off. Like, alternative up and down, basically. On and off. Okay, but, like, what, what was this over here? Oh, you can just jump and get into it to win and go under? Oh. Huh. I guess if you lose your power, you get a freebie as long as you're paying attention. All right, despite the muncher thing that got me killed, and it's not very fun, I do think the rest of the level is pretty good. And there's a couple ways to farm one if you need to. Also, the piece which I guess is on screen, so I guess you can kind of watch, but I kind of wish the munchers were on screen too, so it was obvious what was going on. I like how they make you go fast, but you can just stand here as long as you want. There's no risk. Yeah. 
Why is there two pipes there? Great. <laughs> I guess this is the right way to go. And you just come back and the on-offs are changed. And now all of a sudden you get an acorn for whatever reason. Wasn't one else at the end, that's a good sign. Not a fan of the twister idea, though, but what can you do? God, the, <laughs> the level was just lagging so much with the twisters and the one-ups. Five more levels, and then we're gonna swap to Luigi's Mansion for about an hour or so. And I'll turn on Tangi if you guys want to use it for any reason. And I guess I'll turn on Spooky Cards too. I don't know if I should. Apparently, I played this. Didn't boo it, so I might have skipped it instantly or something else. I don't know. Pretty sure I skipped it because I don't remember doing this. Maybe though. I get a checkpoint. All right. Oh, I almost had it. I was trying to kick it, but it is what it is. Kind of messed up on my jump because of that. That's okay. Kind of hard to hit that if you're going slow. Fair enough. Near Halloween, so that makes sense. I mean, the only reason why I would be on is for Luigi's Mansion, because... Kind of a spooky game? You know how I died there? Some weird, I don't know if it's subpixel or frame perfect, I don't know what it is. But sometimes, even if you're not pressing jump and you're just holding run, you just die to a spike that's two blocks above you. Like a buffer jump. It's gotta be something to do with like the, uh, the mole hitbox or something. Cause I don't, I, I hate it when people put two blocks high. It should be always three so you never die that way. Should have one-shotted that section. Good thing I saw the door. <sighs> All right. Just end the level, yeah. Call it a day. Oh no, extra checkpoint. That's fine. We made it. Yeah, I've been trying to stream always at 9 p.m. PST to have a consistent schedule at least. Um, I think the Luigi's Mansion one is still the scariest one, if I had to be honest. Just like Dead Space one, you know. Poison is spelled wrong, interesting. Wait, I actually know this creator. Should I be playing this? <sighs> Jesus. This is not a tight level, fair enough.
We don't really see this creator anymore. They were like 2019-2020 era. I don't know how this is in Super Expert, because their stuff generally can be ranging from Super Expert to whatever this is. This is like Expert. You just gotta go fast. And there's plenty of time, so I think I have enough time to win here. Let me see. Five seconds, by the way. I gotta pause button because I need to know what the hell's going on. If I have to climb up there, there's no way I win. Instant win? Yeah, okay. Super expert because of the muncher, I guess? People died and skipped? Because nothing else. I don't know, it doesn't seem that bad of a level. From a Miss Gecko level to JTX level, a Jotendo level, wow. That is something else. I haven't played this one, apparently. He has mentioned that some of his Super Bowl levels are trash. I gotta keep that in mind. Could've had maybe a 1-up. If I timed that right. There we go. Oh, I gotta go back down. Well, I got my one-ups, even if he's not going to give me any. He probably will, though. Why is there a saw blade there? Yep, dead, because I didn't hold right. It's almost as if you can get a mushroom in this level, but I don't... Like, Joe would never put a dev exit in his own level. Or dev item. Okay, he would have given out three one-ups anyways. A little blind here and there, but it's not that bad of a level. I actually give it a like here. Yeah, I think I'll give it a like, sure, why not? It's still better than most of the levels I find super expert, you know? And they had an indicator when you're supposed to hold right. I see you subbed to IPK. Dang, when people sub for emotes, maybe I should improve my emotes or something. I like the Casper level, interesting. There's no way this is the whole level, is it? There's gotta be a checkpoint. Yeah, I was gonna say. See why I like this. It's really easy to read. And it's unique. Creative. Not as blind as it could, probably could be, unless. Is that shell just in case I don't make the P switch timer or. Oh, it's for this. I mean, it's if and or, it would have been for both. Yeah, emotes can be very powerful. I have a couple of really good emotes. We're down to the last level, potentially, for the prediction, by the way. I have not seen a triple stack Bowser, so... Looks like it might be odds or evens here. Yikes. Why did I... Why did I try to jump up to the ducking? It's like once per stream, maybe sometimes two or three. Yeah. 
Then I'll replay a level, you know? Holy crap, you actually are supposed to ground pound with the two block there. What? Why are you babying me? Oh, I don't have any time for this, my guy. What do you mean? Uh uh, I'm going for it, man. I don't care. Just win, please. Please, two seconds. No, uh, yeah, I actually have. No, wait, where am I going? Hold left, right? What? I barely was able to beat that level. Wow. Yeah, I think this one gets a boo. You had to get the red coins, and it told me I went in the wrong place with the pow and the spikes and the, the womps on me. So that's getting a boo for sure. Unless there's a hidden key somewhere, but even then it's still bad design. Outcome is odd skits. Congrats. Enjoy your channel points. <laughs>